Hello. Cheers. Here we are in my front room. If you don't recognise this room, why not? Have you seen the attention music video? I made the attention music video in here against that wall. Today I'm going to talk about why I made the music video and how I made it. So let's get into it. I made the music video for attention because I love to make videos. I thought it would be fun. I always feel like my idea of what should come with the audio from the visual side of things will fit better because I know what the song's about than someone randomly coming in and putting a concept to the song. I knew it was going to be a fun task. I didn't know how it was going to turn out when I started making it, but it was something that I wanted to do and I felt confident that I could do it. The other reason is because music videos are really, really expensive, especially if you want to get one done that looks good. So previously I've had quotes for music videos that have vastly, vastly outweighed the amount of money that it took to actually record and mix and master and polish the song. I could have made an album for that amount of money. Right now my priority is to make and release as much music as possible because that's what my passion is. So my thought process behind it is that if I can use funds to just make and release as much music as possible and myself make the music videos, then that to me is more fulfilling than releasing less music within one year and paying someone a load of money to make an amazing music video but then not being able to release as much music because they don't have the funds to record it. That to me just doesn't make sense. It has to be about the music first. But I do love making the videos so it's a win-win situation. <laughs> At this point I really want to say thanks to everyone who is supporting me on Patreon. Patreon is a place where I release monthly original song demos and exclusive content and everyone supporting me on there is really helping to allow me to release more music. So this year I'm probably going to release more singles than I ever have done before and that is being aided by the support from people on Patreon so I appreciate it so so much. If you want to join the gang and you want access to these monthly new original song demos and just have a chat with us, little, little crew that we've got going on, then I'll put the link down below and you can check that out. So back to the music video and how I made it. I did make it against this white wall. I had some help from my wife, thank you very much. There's a TV screen, because this is my front room, about here. So it's quite a small area to work in, but it's one of the most accessible white, plain, floor to ceiling, white walls in the house. So I'd already been thinking about what I wanted the artwork, the still thumbnail artwork to be for the song. So that's the picture that you see on Spotify, iTunes, that's like the official artwork for the song. The still image artwork is in keeping with the video. It is me stood in front of this wall, I'm backlit by a blue light and essentially it's my silhouette with a grainy sort of ripply effect background. That shot happened about a week before the music video was shot. So yes, it would have made sense to do both at the same time, but I needed the artwork sooner than I needed the video so that I was on schedule for the release. I had ideas of what I wanted the video to be like, but I hadn't fully fleshed it out. The artwork came first and then the video came later and they are very in keeping, but they were not shot on the same day, which, you know, that's a learning curve. I knew that what I wanted to do was have quite a lot of the background shots as slow-mo dancing. I used a dimmable LED light, like this one. So this is just a dimmable LED light by Newer. It's got some barn doors on it, which means I can control the direction of the light a lot better than if it was just, like fully open. As you can see this thing is not exactly small, I think most people think I had this like tiny bulb in front of me which would probably have made the whole thing a lot easier to be honest. So I had to stand about a metre in front of this. At times in post I had to edit parts of the metal bit of the light out because my body had come too far across it. I had quite a lot of control over this light in terms of what colour light it was giving me, whether it was yellow, warmer or bright white cooler and then the barn doors to control the direction of the light and I also used a gel filter so this is what gave the bright sort of deep blue colour 
that you can see in the final edit. The light was set up roughly around where that guitar is now and then I also had another light with a slightly different shade of blue that was down here on the floor. And the camera was set up over there. We filmed the video on a Canon 60D with an 18 to 135 millimeter lens, I believe. It looks like the footage is super grainy. It wasn't grainy at the time of filming because we had the ISO on a pretty low setting for the camera. I'd edited the artwork for the track, which would be on Spotify and iTunes and everywhere, to have this sort of grainy background effect with tiny ripples going through it as well. So I wanted the video to match that. All in all, the filming probably took about an hour. I knew that I was gonna overlay lyrics over it and everything like that. I didn't expect the edit to take me weeks, literally weeks working on this thing because at the time, I didn't realize that I'd put the settings of the camera onto a mode that basically, you can see all of the flaws in the camera. I realised that I had a lot of blown pixels in my camera, a lot of red pixels, a lot of white pixels and black pixels that obviously weren't working anymore and I didn't know that until we'd completely finished filming because I didn't check. Again, learning curve. And I was able to fix those issues but that's the thing that took me a very long time. There's this plugin for Final Cut Pro which is called Tokyo Reanimator and it was a complete lifesaver. I'll put more information about all this stuff in the description. Essentially it managed to cover or mask all of the dead or hot pixels in my camera but I had to do this frame by frame of a three minute video. It was so long. My body was quite central in the shot. It was kind of like like I am now, quite central. But a lot of the blown pixels or hot pixels were sort of on the line of my hair or on the line of my body here. If it had just been, you know, like a hot pixel there and a dead pixel there, I could have just covered them and left the mask there for the whole video. But because my body was going across the lines of these hot pixels, it just, it was just really obvious. That issue was kind of compounded by some of the effects that I was using on different frames, mostly a Ken Burns zooming in um, or zooming out panning effect that made the hot or the dead pixels move so that I had to make the masks move with each frame. Honestly, it was just... I'm gonna get a new camera. When I had the video edited, that's when I added a grainy, sort of ripply, noisy effect to the whole thing. Originally the video had a weaker, sort of softer, rounder looking font than it does have now. The reason why the video now has quite a cool, slanted, strong looking font is it's a change that I made after showing a preview of the video to my product manager, Kate Hendry, at Absolute Label Services. Thanks, Kate. Good shout. The font now is definitely stronger and more angular and definitely fits the video and the song much better. I definitely have learned a lot about editing and about different things that I can do um, through making this video. Once all the lyrics had been added, the pixels had been fixed, the effects had been added, and the flashing parts and all that stuff, and once my, my boobs had been edited out, <laughs> it was finished and I felt a wave of relief. And I watched it back quite a few times during the edit, but I watched it back after I'd completely finished it and just thought, yeah, this is awesome. This feels right for the song and it feels right for me. And I'm super glad I did it like this. So that was a very satisfying moment. The edit just took so long for how long it took to film the thing. <laughs> Um, but I'm really, really glad with how it's come out. I'm really pleased with it. It definitely fits the song really well, I think. But I'd love to hear what you think about it. Please visit the link below to see the final edit. No more edits. <laughs> and yeah, I really hope you like it. Let me know what you think and I will see you next time.